welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a product review and comparison. This was a highly requested video that I hope will help you guys decide between two very awesome products. So today I am reviewing and comparing the very well known Nugget by the Nugget Company or the Nugget Couch, as well as the Members Mark Kids Explore Sofa from Sam's Club. So to begin, I wanted to address the most common question and that is, is it worth all the hype? If you are part of any parent groups on Facebook or you follow any parents on Instagram, the chances are you have heard all about the rave on these kids' couches. And if you're anything like me, you're probably wondering who in the world would spend that much money on foam shapes. Or why would you buy these when you could just pull the cushions off of your couch? Well, I decided to go ahead and give these couches a try or give them a chance, test them out and see if they were worth all the hype and hopefully this will help you guys decide. So my first impression upon opening both of these boxes was that they're actually really cool and they're very heavy duty. I was impressed with the quality of the foam. They don't feel like they're flimsy or anything like that. So that was definitely a very good first impression. And then after I let them expand, I put them to the ultimate test and let my two-year-old go crazy. After multiple builds, lots of wrestling, jumping, climbing, running between my two-year-old, my husband, and I, these suckers are looking great. And I have to say that after a week in, I'm starting to understand what all the hype is about. They are actually a lot of fun and you can do so much with them. I have used them to lounge on while watching movies. I've taken a nap on them and they work great with our U-shaped couch. Our living room essentially becomes one giant bed. Now we have two kids sofas, obviously, as you can see here. And of course, the more you have, the more you can do with them. But even if you have just one, it's still a lot of fun. So would I buy them again? Absolutely. And if you have the option to buy more than one or heck, even more than two, I would encourage it as it does give you more things to do and your imagination can go wild. Okay, so the next big question is if there are any off-brand nuggets. Well, answer's pretty obvious. As you can see, I have the Members Mark Kids Explorer sofa. So yes, there are off-brands. But this is a common question for a few different reasons. One being that the nugget is a $230 purchase minimum, and that's before tax. But another reason is because the delivery time to receive a nugget can be rather long because of the high demand. I do wanna do a little side note here. Sorry for the background noise. I have a toddler who's going to bed. He's watching Shrek, so there is some interesting music going on in the background. So please try to avoid, or please try to tune that out the best you can. Sorry about that. Now, when I ordered my nugget, it took about four weeks for it to actually arrive, which isn't honestly that terrible. But you can probably expect popular colors, patterns, prints, limited editions, and holidays to extend that delivery time. So if you're wanting to purchase this as a Christmas gift, you need to order well in advance. So back to the question on off brands. Yes, there are off brands or other brands with the exact same concept. One being the Numbers Mark Kids Explore Sofa by Sam's Club, which I will be comparing today with the Nugget. There's also the Brentwood Home Kids Play Couch, which is priced higher than the Nugget, and I don't have much information on that as of yet, so I cannot do a whole lot on, of comparison as to if it is worth more than the Nugget or not. And then there's the Foamnasium, which is comparable in cost, but again, I don't have more information than the price, which is I want to say about 230 or 260 or something like that because the nugget does range from 230 to 260 which i will get into later and there are a possible few other couches out there i'm sure there's other brands that are just not as well known but those are the four top ones that i have found easily now all of these have the two foldable mats and the two pillows or the triangle foam pillows and out of the four the members mark kids explore sofa is the cheapest so on the note of price, I'm gonna go ahead and start comparing the price of the Nugget versus the Members Mark Kids Explorer Sofa. So as I mentioned, the Nugget goes from anywhere from $230 to $260. It might even go up above that, but I don't believe they currently have any patterns or anything out right now. So I wasn't able to see what the costs of limited, more limited editions, they actually do have some limited editions out right now and they are priced at $259, $260. So, um, 
I'm not 100% sure if it goes up from that, but I do know that the price range is definitely from 230 for just a basic color to 260 where the members mark Kids Explorer Sofa is $180. This is at Sam's Club, so keep in mind that you have to have a membership in order to purchase. But if you know someone who has a membership, you could probably talk with them about purchasing one for you. So is the price difference worth it? Well, before answering that, I want to note that the Explorer Sofa is more limited than the Nugget in a few different ways. The first being that Sam's Club actually has a two maximum purchase per membership, which I take to mean that I can only purchase two even if they're of separate transactions. So make sure if you're going through someone else, going through their membership, that they are okay with you utilizing their max of two for you. The Nugget, however, does not have a limit. So if you wanna buy 12 or more, you are free to do so, which I am part of a Nugget group on Facebook and you would be surprised at how many people are out there with just countless amounts or countless numbers of nuggets. It is pretty crazy to see the obsession and the rave and just how deep it goes. So if you want more than two, the nugget is probably the better option. But if you don't want more than two, maybe you don't have space for two, then the Explorer Sofa would be the way to go. And that is if you have a membership or know someone that has a membership that would let you use their max of two. The other limitation of the Explorer sofa is that it currently only has six colors. And as far as I have seen, it does not have options of purchasing different colored covers to cover the foam. Although after comparing the sofas, you could probably get away with purchasing a nugget cover and it would actually fit over the Sam's Club's or the Explorer sofa's foam. And the nugget covers range from $99 to $130, depending on the fabric or the print. So moving on to the warranties. Both couches have a one year limited warranty. I do wanna state that for the Nugget couch, the warranty does not cover any purchases from a third party or if you are not the original purchaser, you have to purchase from nugget.com. If you have bought it from someone else, the warranty is void. So when comparing the two warranties, they are pretty much identical. A lot of the criteria is word for word the same between the two. Some important facts that I do wanna mention is that the warranties only cover your couch if they have been opened within 15 days of delivery, which is good to do anyways, because if there's any damage, you wanna know well in advance or as early as you can so you can get the replacement parts in quicker. And that way, especially if it's a Christmas gift, uh, you're able to get it, get the replacement parts in time for Christmas and you're not having to gift your kiddos something that is not actually usable or is you know, zippers broken or whatever. And on that note, I have seen some mamas who have said they still have theirs in the box. They're storing it away because they don't wanna have the temptation of pulling it out before Christmas and giving it to their kids. I 100% get this because I am a very impatient person. When I have a gift, I just, I'm so ready to give it. Like a lot of the time I end up giving it early because I just can't wait. So try to find a place to store your nugget open out of its package where it is out of sight out of mind but where you won't forget that you have it for christmas because that also happens i did see a mom who said that she actually stored hers at a relative's house so that way it wasn't even in the same household as her which was actually pretty brilliant and anytime she mentioned it like wanting to get it out they kept telling her no like you gotta wait so i thought that was pretty clever if you have the option to do that definitely check into that because that would be a good way to not have that pressure or that temptation to bring it out a little bit early. Another important point to mention with the nugget specifically is that you can only return the nugget free of shipping if the box or package is still unopened and it is returned within 15 days of delivery. Which then brings me to the 30 day trial period with nugget, which is why I initially purchased this. The 30 day trial actually excludes returns after the first 15 days and or if the packaging has been opened. Instead, if you decide within the 30 day time frame that the nugget is just not for you, they tell you you can take it to a nonprofit organization and donate it, which then you would have to give some proof of, I guess, donation or whatever, submit that to the nugget company and then they will give you a re refund. As for returns on the Explorer sofa, from what I can find, which it's a little bit more difficult because Sam's Club is a broad band of products and whatnot. 
So the return policy is not quite as identified specifically for the sofa. I believe this is a 90 day return. Now you can return it to Sam's Club by actually going to the store or there is an option I'm assuming to return it through shipping. So if you're worried about buying this and not liking it and then not knowing or not having a Sam's Club close enough to drive to and return, you might just give customer service a call in advance and just see how that would work. Shipping might be on you, but maybe they would work with you on something. I, I honestly don't know. That's something that you'll have to do if you're interested in trying out this sofa. But hopefully this video will help you make that decision and you'll feel confident about the purchase and you won't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's discuss care instructions. So to be quick and simple, both couches have removable, washable covers. Simply unzip the covers, remove them from the foam, zip them back up just to prevent any damage, and it's recommended to use a gentle detergent such as free and clear to maintain fabric color. So the main difference between care instructions is that with the nugget, you cannot dry the covers. You must hang them, air dry them. They cannot be put into any heat because you will shrink it. But being micro suede, it shouldn't take too long to dry. And the Explore sofa, you can actually tumble dry on low. Both can be spot cleaned. Just be careful with what products you use. You can also use baby wipes to spot clean, which is a very common thing for us to have around the house as we have a five month old. And so I use baby, baby wipes a lot to clean stuff up and they work really, really well. So uh, baby wipes or just something that you know isn't going to be too harsh on your fabrics. And it's also encouraged to spot test. So like I personally would spot test in the, the fold of the fabric. Uh, just to kind of see if it fades it or what by chance it dyes it. So just make sure that you're testing it first before you just completely start cleaning a big massive spot or you know like a like a good size spot on your cover. There is also a company called Created by Couture, which I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but something like that. And they sell what's called Never Nudes, which is essentially a waterproof mattress protector, but for the nugget or for sofas like this. So all you have to do is you remove the cover, the original cover, place those never nudes on, and then put the original cover back over the never nudes. So that way, when you have to take the original cover off to wash, the foam is not exposed. But also, if you're potty training toddler or your puppy who is potty training, or maybe you've got a sick kiddo who just, you know, he's, he's getting all comfortable on the couch and he gets sick. You don't have to worry about those fluids absorbing into the foam and retaining any smell or anything like that. All you would have to do at that point is remove both the original cover and the Never Nudes, wash both, and pop them back on. Now, if you don't want to buy Never Nudes because they are, I believe, $89 for one set, which covers the two pillows and the two foam mats, you can also do puppy pee pads, which is what the Nugget has in one of their little pamphlets whenever you get the Nugget. So that is definitely a more budget friendly option, but I can't imagine it being quite as efficient. All right, so now that I have compared all of the fine details, it's time to compare the products themselves. Okay, so the first is the fabric. The Nugget is 100% polyester. The Explorer Sofa is 90% polyester and 10% nylon. So the zipper track on the Nugget is a little bit thicker than the track on the Explorer Sofa. And you can also see that the handle of the zipper or the zipper itself is also quite a bit bigger on the nugget compared to the Explorer sofa, which means it's a little more likely to hurt yourself or for your little ones to hurt themselves on the nugget zipper than the Explorer sofa. I feel like that doesn't catch or you're not going to hit that quite as hard as what you might this bulky thick zipper here. The Explorer sofa also has a little string attached which really makes removing the cover easy. However, that also means that your kiddos can zip it a little bit easier versus the nugget, which does take a little bit more effort to do, but it's not terrible. Okay, so the zipper on the nugget pillows is on the ridge of the foam, which I feel risks the seams tearing easier as the pressures put on the seams is higher. As you can see me applying the pressure here, I'm just concerned that over time when they're climbing and sliding and stuff that it's going to put too much pressure and it's going to tear the seam of the zipper. Okay, so the zipper on the Explorer sofa is actually on the flat section of the pillow and I feel like this is a lot less likely to tear because 
you're not going to catch or you're not going to put nearly as much pressure against those seams as you would if they were on the ridge. But either placement I don't feel is uncomfortable. I will say that is a little bit more rough. That zipper is a little bit more rough. That one you can't really tell all that much. Also the shapes of the pieces. So the nugget couch is not as uniform looking. And by this I mean the seams are a little wonky. And they don't really follow the edges of the foam if that makes any sense. Like as you can see here the foam edge is here and the seam is down here. Also, I have noticed that these zippers are pretty wonky themselves as well. One of these is actually pretty bad. Not that one. I believe it's this one. Yeah. So, and I honestly probably would not have noticed that or like the shaping. Like it's so rounded here where it's super triangular, like more square or whatever uh, here. Where the Explorer sofa looks a lot more uniform. As you can see, it's very square versus the roundedness here of the nugget. And the seams are nicely sewn along the edges of the foam. So it's kind of hard to see, but that's the seam. And it is right along the edge of that foam piece. Same goes for the zipper. And then on the pillows, you can see how clean and uniform that is. Now it is a little bit right there. I think that's just from being played on so but overall I mean it just looks a lot a lot cleaner so overall the nugget is more rounded especially on the edges you can kind of see what I'm talking about with not being very uniform and the kids explore is a lot more square straight cut lines Another minor difference that really doesn't play too much of a part in the value or the quality is the handles. So the handles on the Kids Explorer is the same fabric as the cushions themselves where the nugget has like a, like a, oh, whatever you want to call that, like almost like a ropey texture, very common fabric handle. So overall the sizing is actually very comparable. The Explorer sofa is just slightly bigger at around three-fourths to an inch bigger in width and height as well as the length of the pillows. So going back, they're slightly longer than these pillows here. Which is why I say you could probably replace the cover of the Explorer sofa with the Nugget covers. It would probably, probably be just slightly tighter. Alright, and last is the most important factor and that is how they stand up to my two-year-old. Now, as you can see while I'm building here, I build very similar builds or identical builds, and you can see that the integrity of the nugget just seems a little bit more flimsy compared to the Explorer sofa. I tried to match them exactly as I did the other, and you can just kind of see that orange is just swooping a little bit, and that is pretty common from with all the builds that I do with these nuggets, or the nugget and the Explorer sofa. The nugget just seems to have a little bit more flexibility to it. And I do feel that the Explorer sofa withstood my son's abuse a lot more than the nugget. I felt that the nugget collapsed easier, most likely due to the fact that it has those uneven or rounded corners versus the Explorer sofa, which is very square and flat. So a really big motivator behind purchasing these little sofas was that I really needed something to encourage gross motor movement that did not require being outside because we do have a five month old. It is so humid and hot right now in Arkansas. It is just miserable to be outside, but there's really not a whole lot that Rowan could do inside to help encourage those gross motor skills and really teach him to learn to explore his body and explore the different things he can do with it. So this is a perfect option for that because you can do all sorts of things, whether it's climbing, sliding, rolling, jumping. I mean, he can do so much. And then on top of that, you can build ramps and push tractors or trucks down them, roll balls down them. Like the, there are just so many different things you can do. And if you can't think of anything, always hop like on Pinterest or there's groups on Facebook about nugget builds and things like that. And you can do so much with it so make sure you're utilizing those resources so that way you guys are getting the most out of your couches because it is definitely worth it whenever you have those options
right, so that is the highlight of my experience playing and exploring the sofas and their differences as well as, as well as their similarities. If I had to say which one I like the most and just saying out of one nugget or one uh, set, I would say the Kids Explorer sofa is probably my favorite. I am very pleased with the overall look of it. It's got that just that clean look and I do feel like it was a little bit more structurally sound whenever we were playing with it. However, due to the limitations in quantity and fabric options, um, the nugget is more appealing. So it really depends on whether you're planning on having more than two or not. So I hope that you guys were able to take something from this video today. It has been a lot of fun testing these products out. I would love to know if you decide to purchase which one you chose and why. Leave that in the comments below. Also, while you're at it, head over to my channel. I have a bunch of content that's on its way as well as a few videos. I am pretty new to the whole YouTube channel and so I have organizing videos coming. I have some clean with me's already up as well as some uh, big makeovers that I just did including the living room and our master bedroom. I basically focus on anything that is motherhood or homemaking related. That is my life, that's my passion as a stay-at-home mom with two kids. Just know that whenever I give recommendations and things like that, I'm going to be as real as possible with you guys. I'm not going to pretend like everything's perfect or that a product or whatever works fantastic if it truly isn't that great. I want you guys to know that I'm being real with you and that I am a reliable source for questions or comments or if you need support in whatever. I also have an Instagram, which is at living A to Z. You can always message me there if you have any questions. I would absolutely love to get to know you. As I said, my YouTube channel is pretty new, so we're still building that community, but I would love for you to join the community and I would love to get to know you more. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Follow me on Instagram. I always give little tips and previews and stuff of things to come, as well as just little things that I might not make videos about. And you get to see a little bit more of my day-to-day -day life with my kids. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, night, morning, whatever it is. I have a new clean with me coming. It is a disaster clean. It was so messy after the weekend, so I'm really excited to show you guys all the progress that I made, and I hope to see you guys on Sunday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so freaky. Ha 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 ha!